Subscribe to our channel now to stay up to date with the Dodgers. Are you a true Dodgers fan and always thirsty for fresh news about signings, rumors and game details? Then this is the right place for you. Our channel is committed to keeping you informed in real time about everything involving your favorite team. When you sign up, you'll get exclusive access to constant updates, in-depth analysis and insights into the Dodgers' every move. Always stay ahead of the news and get ready to be thrilled with each of your team's achievements. Plus, here's an extra reason to join us, all monetization funds generated by this channel will go towards helping poor countries in Africa. Your subscription not only provides you with quality content, but also contributes to important humanitarian causes. We count on your help and support, fans. Together, we can make a difference both in the world of baseball and in the lives of those who need it most. Just click the sign up button and be part of this incredible journey. Come on sign up now and be part of this team that cares about sport and the world. Dodgers reportedly showing interest in All-Star closer amid Evan Phillips' struggles. The Los Angeles Dodgers are searching for a new closer after Evan Phillips appears to have lost his job. Manager Dave Roberts has been using the righty in different situations, while the last save opportunity went to Brent Honeywell on Thursday against the San Francisco Giants. In eight appearances since June 30, Phillips has been rocked for nine earned runs and 12 hits, including four home runs, in just 7.1 innings for an 11.05 ERA that boosted his season ERA to 3.77. Because of this, the Dodgers are reportedly interested in Miami Marlins left-handed closer Tanner Scott and, presumably, Los Angeles Angels closer Carlos Estevez. According to Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic, the teams interested in Scott and presumably Estevez include the Los Angeles Dodgers, Baltimore Orioles, Kansas City Royals, New York Yankees and Philadelphia Phillies, according to sources briefed on the Marlins' discussions. As The Athletic reported Wednesday, the Marlins are fielding calls on nearly all of their relievers, and all are available regardless of contract or remaining years of control. Phillips has acknowledged his slip-up recently and is searching to regain his first-half form when he held opponents to a 1.52 ERA and converted all 13 of his save opportunities in 25 games. Opponents only had a .186 average against him and a .492 on-base plus slugging percentage. I went to Doc a few days ago and said, hey, I have a higher standard for myself, I know I'm pitching below that bar right now, and I understand that whatever needs to be done will be done, Phillips said Monday. Fundamentally when I pitch, it's to help us win games. Period. Phillips' appearance against the Boston Red Sox on Sunday was more fuel on the out-of-control fire. The Dodgers were leading 9-3 and Phillips surrendered three runs. Daniel Hudson was brought in to close the game with the bases loaded and two outs in the ninth. Phillips says his performance has been impacted by some negative self-talk and his inability to control his emotions on the mound. Conviction in my pitches isn't really a problem, Phillips said. It's more of a mindset, a shift in focus, straying too far away from what my thought process is on the mound, putting too much stock in the weight of the game, the shift in momentum and some of my outings that have cost the team a lead or whatever it might be. I'm trying to get back to individualizing each pitch and being convicted in each pitch, having a clear understanding of what I'm trying to do with those pitches and executing better. Regardless, if Phillips doesn't figure it out in a hurry then the Dodgers are going to move on to someone else. 